Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Dr. Akif Big. Today we'll be talking about the role of squatting in tetralogy of fallow. So as we all know, uh, in tetralogy of fallow, what uh, basically there is a thing called as cyanotic spells. This cyanotic spells basically occurs because of increased right to left shunt. That is the right ventricle blood when it goes from a ventricle septal defect to a left ventricle and there is mixing of this blood. So the left and right ventricle blood and when it mixes with the left ventricular blood, that is deoxygenated blood with the oxygenated blood, there is a called as a uh, there is desaturation and there is mixture and this leads to cyanosis here. So to prevent this phenomena, so what does children do is they acquire a particular position called as squatting to prevent this uh, uh, right to left shunt. So how does it how does it help? So let's go through it. So squatting is a diagnostic significance in TOF. What does squatting actually do is, whenever any baby or child takes a squatting position, this squatting actually leads to increased peripheral vascular resistance. So what happens is that the normally the left ventricle has to pump uh, through, uh, pump the blood into the iota. So whenever the left ventricle has to pump the blood to iota, there is some resistance called as peripheral vascular resistance. So resistance in the arteries. So when you, if you do more squatting, what happens is that the this peripheral vascular resistance increases more and more. So thus, the pressure over the left ventricle increases more and more, and this pressure sometimes can cross uh, more over the right ventricle, and thus can prevent from blood from going from the right ventricle to left ventricle. So what is happening in TOF is usually is that this uh, in the pulmonary artery there is infundibular stenosis. So this stenosis of this pulmonary artery stenosis is actually there. So thus, this blood is not able to go from right ventricle to the pulmonary artery, and thus, uh, if there is a VHD available, the blood starts going to the left ventricle. So now if we increase this pressure of the left ventricle, the chances of this blood going through right ventricle to this left ventricle will be less and thus there will be less admixture of this blood and thus it can prevent the cyanotic spells. So usually the child acquires this position called as squatting position. So there are certain equivalents to squatting. Uh, this is a classical squatting position but there are other equivalents which, should, which we should be aware of. The squatting equivalent is, this is the classic one where the child uh, sits, is called squatting position. Second is uh, the child sits uh, with the legs. You can see the legs drawn underneath. Legs drawn underneath and this also can lead to increase in peripheral vascular relations. Other thing is called as the increase in the leg crossing. That is if you do in standing position, the leg is crossed like that. That also increases the increase uh, uh, after load or increased peripheral vascular relations. The child may acquire this position in front held with legs flexed onto the abdomen and the lying down position. All these things are as squatting equivalents and are helpful in uh, preventing the cyanotic spells. Other benefit of uh, squatting is that other than peripheral vascular resistance, it also, what does it do is it, it locks up the more desaturated blood into the lower limb. So the, all the deoxygenated, deoxygenated blood stays in the lower limb and better oxygenated blood that is in the mesenteric venous blood due to the squatting, what happens, it comes into the heart and more uh, higher oxygenated blood uh, reaches to the heart and thus there is decreased chances of cyanosis. Hope you have understood this uh, concept. Uh, if you have any doubts or any other queries, you can uh, test me in my comment box. If you like this video, do uh, subscribe and share to my YouTube channel, uh, Dr. Akif Big. Thank you.